Oh, I wanted to um, show off, uh, show off. Just kind of maybe show what I've made here. This is my, uh, I guess what I'd call a mobile chick brooder. <laughs> Um, when I was a kid, we raised chickens and horses and stuff at my parents' house, and uh, now as an adult with three little kids and we live in the city, um, about the closest thing I can get to getting my kids the experience until we can get a country house someday is uh, urban chickens, which is really a thing, uh, as I'm finding out. Um, so this is my brooder box. I, uh, I wasn't keen on going out and blowing a hundred and some dollars plus on uh, a horse tank that I was gonna use just for this because I don't have a horse um, and we don't collect rainwater or anything. So uh, yeah, I'll just get to it because I know you guys like short videos. So, and yes, forgive the mess. I just changed the bedding out because they dumped water everywhere. This is a small pallet, if you can see that there. Um, I had some old entertainment center wheels. I screwed on the bottom of that and then Went to good old Walmart and bought a yellow Sterilite tote. I don't remember how many gallon this thing is. It's huge. Um, comes with the yellow lid. And here are the babies. Um, these babies are working on three weeks old. They're from Meyer Hatchery. Um, very, very pleased with Meyer Hatchery. Uh, found them through YouTube, as a matter of fact. And um, I've just been thrilled to death with how that all works and. Well, we didn't have the internet like this when I was a little kid, and I'm in my early 30s, so. But, um, so yeah, uh, the Sterilite's up here. It's screwed down with um, eight uh, just drywall screws, short ones, like inch long ones, into the top of the pallet. And if I need to move it, uh, very easy to do, as you can see there. I'm holding the phone with my hand, so forgive me. Um, and here I've got some blocks holding the water up because they like to get sawdust in there. As a matter of fact, I just changed this, guys. Just clean that out. Uh, and I just changed the bedding. Um, we got the plastic waterer and feeder at Tractor Supply. Um, of course, over here I've got chick grit. And that's in the lid of a, uh, you know, one of the giant peanut butter containers from like Meyer or something. Um, over here I had a, um, I had a dresser pole for some like armoire I had. Um, I've got one of these tractor supply uh, thermometers and um, I just kind of leave it up there. We often will put it down and lay it down um, to make sure the temperature's right. But when we're not laying it down so they don't get it covered and stuff, we just hook it on there and that's kind of nice. Um, also, I've got uh, good old Harbor Freight, just, you know, spring clamps like this. And what those do is I can take the lid then and kind of lay the corners on the clamps. Keeps it from moving too close to the light, which I've moved this around now. And it also allows me to put it up or down to vent heat a little bit or get some air in there. Um, now that it's getting older and we're getting to that third week, um, they don't need as much heat. So I've just raised the light and cracked this a little bit. It's May right now in uh, the Midwest and so it's a little warm out. It was about 82, 83 today here. And I got a heat lamp beating down on them, so I'm kind of making sure there's getting some air going through here. Also, we have uh, this doohickey. This is just a standard, you know, heat lamp like you would get it. Again, tractor supply or wherever you shop. Rural King, Orsham, wherever you like. Um, with a 250 watt red bulb in there. It's got the cage on it for safety. Um, and of course the thing ceramic. This is an old camera tripod um, that I got out of a dumpster and um, it's made out of aluminum. This actually allows me to um, raise and lower the lamp without having it you know, tied to a, a string up there hanging from the ceiling. So, um, you know, you just use the tripod adjustments. This controls tilt. Um, and then you raise and lower the legs for height. And then of course you can use the tilter on the lamp too to get different angles, um, which now it's too high. Take that down a little bit. So what we've got here is um, the clamp just kind of hooks around here. Then I've got zip ties through to make sure that really isn't coming off of there. Most of the pressure is here in the back of this metal plate. Um, and then there's a zip tie here um, that goes between the actual like. Um, loop of metal on the light itself and the spring, the, you know, the, the clamp here, this is a clamp on lamp 
to make sure that if it falls, uh, it's not going too far down, but it's been great. So uh, yeah, this is my quote, mobile brooder setup. So thanks for checking this out. Um, hope this gives you ideas if you need some. This is just how I did it. It's working great, thanks.